All right, guys, as some of you know, uh, the Paddle Camp Fish headquarters was hit by a tornado last night. And um, we're just waiting on an adjuster to come out tomorrow. We got a tree on the roof and a, a lot of damage around. Got a little supper cooking here. So that, this used to be my little man cave porch. As you might have seen, I, I kept all my kayaks and stuff under it. And luckily, we went on a little trip a couple days ago, and the kayaks are on the back of my truck on a trailer. So, here's the house. We didn't get super bad damage, but Got a tree and some skirting down and and a lot of a lot of debris and trees down. So Alright, so I was happy to remember that the kayaks are in good shape. <laughs> And here's a little picture of the front yard. And this is after chainsawing all day. That whole driveway is just blocked out there. We're going to finish that up tomorrow. And I wanted to show you guys something a little crazy. My buddy Chad came down from North Carolina. And he's been stuck at my house uh, because of this virus thing. And uh, he's been camping out in my campsite. And uh, he was in the tent last night when the tornado hit. And uh, this is my campsite. If you remember my, my little bushcraft camp. It's pretty much gone. But Chad was right here in this tent, <clears throat> and um, he said he he woke up to things falling and hitting the ground, uh, a bunch of thuds, and that's what was going on. This pine tree broke, and it was just dropping piece after piece right next to his tent. So <laughs> that's a camping story to tell. Tell the kids, and here's the the bushcraft camp. You guys remember? Uh, it is no longer. My little lean-to stayed up, but um, just give you an idea. <laughs> this is what was going on while Chad was. Asleep there in his tent. Now that's crazy. Alright, as you guys see, we have no electricity. And we haven't had any since uh, 12 o'clock last night. And the power trucks are, are working really hard up here to get these, get us some electricity back. That telephone pole is broken off. This is what we got to work on tomorrow. We still are not able to get out of our driveway. I don't know if you can see those guys. So, a lot of work ahead. All right, so last but not least, um, this is what my stimulus money bought today. Uh, we got the Echo DS400, and we're going to put it to work tomorrow and get this place cleaned up. But, um, all right, so 
let's take a look at the paddle camp fish office it is officially down <laughs> no more got the old kayak there of course all the <clears throat> fishing baits we've been using lately and it didn't damage much I think a couple fishing poles got broken yeah there's one there tip of one um, my stepson's paddleboard can't tell if it's damaged or not and our old pool there has a tree in it <laughs> oh well well, it's fun while it lasted. I don't know what this is. It's a rod holder there. Nope. <laughs> when in doubt, from? your power is out. Well, we're making it work. No power, no worries. Eleven forty-nine. The siren went off. Okay, that's about right. Yeah. And I think about twelve it hit. I don't know what time he came running in, but. Tornado already hit. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need? You were in the tent the whole time. Hmm. Sleep? I don't mind this. Anybody got any hot dog left? I guess it. The water. Probably someone with a hot dog. Negative. Go, Shredder. I'm sorry, baby. I don't have any more. We got deer meat. Daddy, we need deer meat. Daddy, huh? I want that cup. Spider Man cup. You want Spider Man cup? Okay. Hang on, buddy. Alright, guys, this is social distancing. Candlelight, generator, deer meat, and cold beer. <laughs> I guess Chad is making good use of all this firewood around. <laughs> Beats the heck out of mosquitoes. Fireflies. A good fire makes everything all right. <laughs> 